Okay, this is an update. A lot of updates. I got the same clothes on, I know. Today is Sunday. I'm going to be cleaning. My sister's coming over to help me to try to do some stuff around this house. My uncle told me to go ahead and not have to come see him today, which was good. Now, yesterday, my car was at the assisted living place. I had to go get that. I just feel like there's just not enough hours in the day. So my daughter wanted to sleep in. She was coming to get me to go get my car. So what we ended up doing was, I can't remember what time she came, probably around closer to 10. So she came, she got me. We went to Grace and... Stopped in to see our aunt. The hospice nurse called and asked if she needed to be seen or could it wait until Monday, Tuesday. And I had asked her if she could please come and see her. She wasn't really doing that great. So I would just be more comfortable being in the weekend. Honestly, things are a blur. I, I need to start really either recording, writing things down. She did come. She checked on my aunt, took her vitals. She checked on all the equipment. The bed wasn't there yet, just the mattress was there. So... She called in on that, said that needed to get there. She said that they don't take the mattress for sanitary reasons because of bed bug problems. All right. I get it, I guess. I was kind of surprised. I thought they, maybe they take them and, and dispose of them then. And then if you want it, they'll they'll leave it. I didn't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We ended up wrapping the mattress back up for when the bed got there. It would, it would have the cover back on it and stuff. And the nurse looked at the concentrator, and, and that was unacceptable because the cup sits on the back. It was just wobbling all over the place, and then the hose that connected it to the concentrator was totally kinked because of the way that it's made. And I just was not impressed with this machine. So she took pictures, called it in, said the, the hose was supposed to be longer so it wouldn't kink. And there's like a bungee cord or a strap or something that holds a cup in place. So she asked for a new concentrator. Now whether or not it came, I don't know. We have to to go check. My daughter is working today, so I'll probably go there just to do a quick check on things. Now, I mean, I have the camera. This morning, being Sunday, she looked pretty good. The girls were working with her. They got her up. They got her dressed. They took her to breakfast. So I'm not seeing any immediate reason to have to go there at the moment. She has the the concentrator that she's been using, the lint, um, she has the inogen if needed, so I don't see any urgency at the moment. I really need to work on this house. My sister's coming over today to help. We're going to start in on the kitchen, I think. I mean, we, excuse me, I want to, we need to get that bedroom cleaned. I don't think my sister and I can get that chair out by ourselves. I need my son to do that, and he's sick. Unfortunately, my daughter and I, we get sick. We can't stop. We have to keep going no matter what. And I know some people say, well, that's not good. I mean, sometimes that's why they have masks. But there are times when, unfortunately, it's before you actually get sick that you're contagious. It's not after the fact. So 
the damage has already been done. All that happened. And she did find some discrepancies in the medication with what they were the facility was doing as opposed to what was written up by the other nurse that came. So the bath girl came to give her a bath and we were had left by this time and gone to see my uncle who's doing really good. He's losing track of time though, so I need to bring him his phone. He wants his phone so he can look at it to see what day it is. He's been there four days, and to him it's like he's been there forever, and he thought the bathroom was done. We did take him some food, and he, he seems to be doing really good, so his foot looks a lot better. I don't know if I took a picture this time, but his foot does look a lot better. But it's like any place. I looked at the board. They did. They had yesterday's. I mean, they had the previous day's date and the the name of the people, the nurse and whatever on there. So I went to the desk to say something. As far as I want to talk to the nurse, I want to know what's going on. He said that nobody was addressing his foot. The only time it was wrapped is when we were there. The nurse came, and then he says that somebody else addressed it, but just put a pad on it. or I don't know. Somebody looked at it or did something, but they didn't do what the other girl did. And this gentleman, super nice, went ahead and did the whole gamut on it and told my uncle to leave his shoes off as, be as much as he could. Did put his socks back on. And because I, I told him, I said, look, he's not going to listen to us. If we tell him to air his feet out, we he said the socks were okay, those hospital socks. And the, the wrapping they use is breathable. So he just said, look, when you're in your room, take your shoes off. And he's saying, well, it's too hard to take them off and on. And I mean, I can do it, but it's really hard. Then push your call button, you know, have somebody come down and help you. And it's funny because, I mean, he's in his wheelchair and he's all over the place. I mean, he wasn't in there when we got there. I had to go look him. I had to go hunt him down. And that's the way he is. He likes to explore and he likes to see everybody. And so we're in there visiting, and he said that it was too quiet there. It's awfully quiet. I said, this is a nursing home, Uncle. This is, you keep telling me that you want to go into a nursing home. This is a nursing home. Is this where you want to be? If you want something that's a little bit more active, because he was like, there's no activities, there's nothing going on. It's a nursing home. Not too many of these people can do anything, really. They have minimal stuff going on. I said, you should be... And as much as I I complain about Grace, he would do okay there because he can get around and he can track people down and go get things and check things out, go talk to people, bug the help etc he would be okay I just get agitated at some of the stuff with when the people need more help there are people on oxygen there are people that are on hospice and if you don't have the call buttons if somebody can't get out of bed and like my daughter said, you can't look at how many people died over the years. She goes, because technically, when people go to these places, unfortunately, go, they go there to die. I know that sounds horrible, but that's, that is the reality of it all. They are in a, in a state where the family can no longer take care of them for whatever reason. 
some family members just don't want them anymore. I mean, there are people there that still go out and go shopping. It's really sad. If we, if our aunt, for instance, could get up and take care of herself, like some of the people, and make herself something to eat, she wouldn't be there. You know, but she can't. We can't be there 24-7. She is a fall risk. She needs definitely more help. She, I don't know. I mean, you're, there's no perfect place. There is no perfect place. I know I get agitated and I get upset. And she has her favorite girls. And they're, they're like I said, the daytime is great. The daytime people are great. Now, last night um, was good as far as the help and stuff. I mean, I guess they just have their moments like any place else. It's the it's the things like the pendant that gets me upset or the oxygen. It's like, I get it, you can't find perfect help all the time, and sometimes you're shorthanded. But when it comes to any kind of equipment, that's to me is uncalled for not to have backup stuff so anyway I digress so my uncle's doing really good <laughs> he thought the bathroom was done and I said they haven't even come looked at it yet well I'm not going to be here that long and I mean I'm coming home in a couple of days so that I said it doesn't get done it doesn't get done I'm not I'm not going to pitch a fit about it then he's like well I guess you're just going to have to go live at Ann Evelyn's during the winter time and I don't know what winter has to do with it honestly it's like I guess you're just going to have to go there and I'll live by myself I'll be fine whatever okay I mean it is what it is. I mean, I would still be here, check in on them and stuff, but if I have to go live at my aunt's and stuff, I guess I will. Now, our schedule is so crazy, I need to get to the Secretary of State and change my address. I mean, I still have stuff that I need to do. I need to... Um, find a doctor. I have to make an appointment. I need to cancel an appointment. I thought I did. It's on my calendar. But I'll, I don't know. I'm losing track of my stuff, that's for sure. But it, we may get hit here. I can't see with these close-up. So... The Okay, the bathroom meeting is on Monday the 30th? I thought it was the 31st. I have a hearing aid appointment on the 31st that I do not have in my calendar, but I know I do, and it's at 9 o'clock. So I'm trying to go, okay, when can I get to the... See, and, it, and I, I've been trying to get to the Secretary of State's, but the problem is is I'm so tired, and I have to get up. I, I'm the kind of person, I want to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. I think they open at 9, actually. And I'll get there at 7.30. No later than 8. Because I want to be the first one in line, for the most part. So, I forget what time the bathroom meeting is. Oh, it's at 9 a.m., so I have to make sure I'm up for that. I mean, people say nine, that's late. For people that go to bed early, but people who don't sleep and people that go to bed like super, super late, that's not early. I mean, that's not, that's early for me because I don't sleep. And then Tuesday, I have the hearing aid appointment because I, I can't hear that great. I need new ones anyway. And being the condition that my aunt is in, we decided we got some gifts for, um, well, my daughter and I got gifts for Scarlett 
to open in front of my aunt because it'll probably be the last time she sees her because my daughter's not going to be taking her over there as she declines. New Year's, everything's closed. So it looks like Thursday is the only day that I could probably go to the Secretary of State or Friday. Or next week. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, I still have a doctor's appointment scheduled in the calendar. I don't know if I canceled it, so I, I probably should call and check on that. Anyway. Losing track, losing track, I'm losing track. We... My sister went to my aunt's while we were at my uncle's because the bed was delivered and we let her know and then they put the mattress on but they put it in the wrong position. It's higher. I don't know. It's a, it's a totally different bed. It's on rollers and stuff. It's weird. I don't know how they would get her in that. It doesn't look like it you know, goes up and down. It's pretty tall to me and she's so short. So I don't know. Anyway, so my sister went over there and took care of that, repositioned the bed, but she had my aunt taken out because she wanted to clean up and stuff. And it might have been around dinner time, so she took care of that, cleaned up, made the bed, did all that, and then she called us and asked if we were coming back. Ann Evelyn was asking if we were coming back. And there were so many people there today and so much activity today. And with the bath girl going there and my sister was there and we were there and the nurse was there, I told her, no, we're not coming back. I do need to get some distilled water today and take it over there. That I do need for the um, concentrator. And that's about it. So... But I looked in on her today, being Sunday, on the, mach on the, on the camera, because it goes off all the time. And they got her up, and they got her dressed, and they took her out for breakfast. And she looked okay today. I mean, she was moving around, pushing the chair around with her legs. She was, you know, she did... She seemed good today, this morning, from what I could see on the camera, because she was doing things. I think when people are there, she might. That's why I said it's hard sometimes. Yes, she's congested. Yes, she's having a hard time. Yes, she's deteriorating. But when people are there and she asks you to wipe her nose or do whatever, is that an act? Is she, you know, whatever? Because when she's in that room and I'm watching her, she's rolling around in that chair. She's getting her napkins. She's getting her Kleenex. She's, you know, eating her candy. She's, like, doing some stuff. So it's kind of like, how did she, is she having just a better day today because she had a bath and she feels better? A lot of times that is the case. When she does get a bath, she does feel better. But the way that the, the young lady made it sound, it's like she couldn't even do anything. It was like picking up dead weight. And it might have been that she was just weak from everything yesterday. Who knows? That was it. And we keep checking in on her as far as, like, the camera. So I'm really glad that we got that. Everybody knows that we have that. Uncle Jack got a kick out of that. Oh, my goodness gracious, because Benita was there working on the room, and I hear that. So I checked in, and I see her cleaning up and stuff, and I can call. Now, so I called on the camera, and Uncle Jack's watching her run around the room, and I'm like, Benita, say hi to Uncle, wave to Uncle. So she starts waving at him, and he got the biggest kick out of that. You know, 
he can't hear, so it didn't matter if she said hi, uncle, or anything like that. It's just the fact that she waved at the camera. And I said, she's waving at you, and he starts laughing. He goes, I'll be darn. You know, so he got a kick out of that. I might be putting some up around the house to keep an eye on the cats. To, and I know who's doing what. It's Mr. Banks. He's just a holy terror. Super sweet. Super sweet. I mean, it's it's hard. You want to get him a good home. And I think that if he was in a different home, it would be better because I don't have a cat tree. I don't have enough cat scratching things around here. And he he wants to be on top of stuff. If I had a nice cat tree, I'm sure... He would be on that all the time looking out the window, but I don't have anything. So, of course, he's going to jump everywhere because he's one of those cats that likes to be high. You have your your land dwellers, and then you have your tree huggers. You know, there's different types of cats. So, anyway, I, I'm getting off the beaten path here. I feel like I'm shutting. So, everything's fine for the time. I'm waiting on my sister to call me, see when she's coming over. I'm going to go ahead and get started here, see what we can't do with this house. And it's just so bad. I did put out on, I did contact some friends of mine on Facebook about hiring extra help to be with our aunt. So there are, you know, people who need money. They're just, it's babysitting basically and if she needs something and they can go get an aid faster than they answer that button or if they see that she's in distress or something you know and yes I told her they can take a nap on the bed or whatever they can take a cat nap I said but I do have my camera so don't be surprised if you know you hear me yell through that hey you know she needs you type of thing I'm not paying somebody ten dollars an hour to go there and sleep if she's sleeping that's fine I'd rather have somebody there who's a light sleeper so if they hear something they would wake up and notice if she's in distress or something I mean I get a to ask somebody to work nights, it's hard unless it's a young person who can sleep during the day. Somebody in college that might need a little extra money, whatever, you know. But it's got to be people I trust, people that, you know, I don't want just anybody there. Not that she really has anything worth taking anyway, but people take the stupidest things. And I don't want anybody taking anything from her. It could be like a $5 plastic bracelet that she likes and somebody takes it that's going to be really upsetting to her or her stuffed animals or anything. I mean, people take the stupidest things. It's sad. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this down. I've been talking too long, and I, as usual, I'll edit the daylights out of it. I wish I had the energy. I wish... I know it's like it's a horrible thing to say if I knew some I wish there was a way to get some speed and I say that and I don't want to you know I say that and people go oh my gosh and I'm like I need energy I get it I don't want to be a drug at drug addict I don't want to take anything that I'm gonna get addicted to but I do need energy so I kind of say I need some speed just get me through this so it is what it is. We'll get it. We'll manage. I'll go get a um, rock star drink and see if that helps. Lots of coffee. <laughs> I hope today's a productive day. I'll talk to you all later.